Alrighty guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the rotation for shapes and objects. And this will be for TrueCut RD Works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on transforming shapes and we've already covered the move or location. Now we're going to be looking at rotation. Now, um, when it comes to the actual rotation, like most uh, features, especially for transforming, you need something selected. In our case, the um, rectangle we want to rotate. Now, by far the easiest way to rotate this is you'll go on the line. Okay, maybe not easiest, but the um, most simple. So you go on this line and you just double click and then you'll see it changes your transform handles. Now, instead of scaling, we have the option for rotation and skewing. So the rotation will be relative to, I will show this day, um, it doesn't really matter which corner you grab. It's, at the moment, it's gonna rotate it around the center there, as you can see. So that is the first way. Also, and just a side note, when you're making selection box of your shape, make sure it's right over the box, or right over your shape, otherwise it's just a bit of one selected. And you can obviously just select it by clicking on it. So then the next one we've got here is on our top panel here. We've got a little rotation icon there, as you can see, and it shows us degree amounts. Now, there's something to keep in mind. Once we set this, so let's say we go 45 degrees, press enter, it will automatically reset it to zero. So that means this is now the new zero for the shape. So if you wanted to reset it, you must just kind of remember what you used. So if I wanted to reset this to true zero, I'll go minus 45. And it's back to true zero. So that's also quite a handy one. This is very nice if you need exact rotation amounts. Other one, you can kind of freehand it till your design looks kind of, um, it's going in the right direction. And then you just come here and rotate it to the exact amount. Maybe you've got requirements from your job or something like that. Then uh, lastly, on our system works panel here on the right, or also known as control panel, if you go far right, you'll see it says transform. Click that, and then the second icon from the left, this little rotation icon. When you select that, the top area here, it's for rotating. Now, something to keep in mind that varies from the rotation button on top here, is that if we had to go here, minus 45, press enter, oh, sorry. And you go apply at the bottom. I forgot that's also one thing because you do a lot of changes here and then only click apply. Say apply and then you'll see it stays minus 45 here on the top. Now you might think, okay, cool, this is great because now I can just set it back to zero, click apply, and then nothing happens. But this actually does, it's kind of showing you the last value you used. So if let's undo this, go here again, we go minus 45. Go apply now let me add a new shape select this and you'll see it's still minus 45 on top there but i've not rotated this one and that is because it keeps these values so let's say you want to make mass rotation or um or not mass rotation but rotating multiple objects after each other and it will keep the value so you can just select a new one click the same click the same click the same so that's something to keep in mind with that one and we also have uh, um, another thing that is uh, that we should keep in mind is if we check this area over here, relative center, you can also lock rotation center, but this will pretty much be where your um, origin is. So if you want th this thing to rotate more like a door, we can maybe go left here. And then we still have rotation. You can obviously set custom ones if you need an exact point somewhere. But otherwise you set a rotation point click apply and then it will rotate it around that point so that is also something that's quite uh useful but otherwise yeah that is uh, it on rotating objects and shapes if we're to head here to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find any videos you're looking for just go here request a training video and then we'll make that video for you but otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.